Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Waggett's math class. Today we will discuss the last method of solving a system of linear equations. To do that, let's review what we already learned about a system of linear equations. System of linear equation are two equations. They have the same variables, x and y. And the value of x in both equations and the value of y in both equations are the same. We learn to solve a system by graphing where the two lines meet. The solution is where the two lines intersect. The value of x and y are the solution. We also learned how to solve the system by substitution using those four easy steps. Today, we will solve a system of linear equations by elimination. To eliminate is to get rid of. So what are you trying to get rid of? You are trying to get rid of one kind of variable so you can solve for the other one. To get rid of one kind of variable, you wanted the coefficient to be the same in both equations for that same variable you're trying to get rid of. Let's see how that works. You got those two equations. Watch how both equations have x and y, but the x has the same coefficient, which is 2. How can I make get rid of that 2x in both equations? The only way to do that is to subtract those two equations. So let's subtract every term in the equation. What would you get? 2x minus 2x is 0. And y minus 5y, that means you have 1y minus 5y is negative 4y equals 5 minus 1 is 4. Now simplify that equation, you end up with negative 4y equals 4 because 0 is gone. Notice that you have one kind of variable to solve for, which is y. To solve for y, you divide both equations by negative 4. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1, so y equals negative 1 because 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1. Now that you found y equals negative 1, we need to find the other variable, which is x. So choose any of the equations, and I chose the first one, 2x plus y equals 5. Substitute the value of y, which you already found, it's negative 1, in the equation. And now simplify it. You get 2x minus y, because adding a negative is subtracting, so 2x minus y equals 5. Notice that you have only x in the equation to solve for. So the first thing to get rid of is negative 1 by adding 1 to both sides. You end up with 2x equals 6, but x is not isolated. It still has that 2 that I need to get rid of. So divide both sides by 2. You end up with x equal 3. So your solution, 3, negative 1, because x is 3 and y is negative 1, that solves both equations. Now I will explain to you the four easy steps to solve a system of linear equation by elimination no matter how hard the system is. I will keep those two equations that we worked with as a guide. Step number one, line up the variables. If not, then rewrite the equations so you can line them up. So watch those two equations that we had or we worked with before. Watch how the x under the x, the y under the y, and the equal sign under the equal sign. Step number two, Make sure one kind of variable in both equations have the same coefficient. Again, just like the x that has the coefficient of 2 in both equations. If you don't have that, what do you do? Multiply one equation or two by a constant, by a number, so you can end up with the same coefficient for the same variable. Step number three is to add those two equations if the coefficient have different signs or you subtract the equations if the coefficients have same sign to eliminate or get rid of one kind of variable and the purpose of this step is to end up with one variable to solve for and solve for that variable step number four is to choose any of the two equations to solve for the other variable that you needed to find then write your solution as an ordered pair x and y. Now let's solve the system of linear equation by elimination 
using the four easy steps. Step number one is to line up the equation. Line up the variables. Is x under the x, the y under the y, the equal under the equal, and the constants under each other, then you don't need to do anything. You don't need to rewrite anything, so it's good. Step number two, to make sure that one variable has the same coefficient. Let's look at the x in both equations. Do they have the same coefficient? No. What about the y? Does it have the same coefficient? No. The number attached to those variables are different. So we need to make one variable has the same coefficient as the other one. So you choose which variable you want it to have the same coefficient. If I choose the x, there's no way I can make the 3 equals 2 or the 2 equals 3 easily. That means I had to multiply both equations by the opposite numbers. I can multiply this equation, the first equation by 2 and the second equation by 3 to get rid of x. But there's an easier way. I can get rid of the y because in the second equation, the coefficient of y is 3. And the coefficient of y in the first equation is just 1. So there is a way I can make the 1 equal 3 by multiplying the whole equation. So put the equation by in parentheses and multiply it by 3. You have to multiply each term in the equation. So 3 times 3x, three, 3 times y, and 3 times negative 14. Uh, now find the answer. Put a line. 3 times 3 is 9x. 3 times y is 3y. Bring the minus down. Bring the equal sign down. And 3 times negative 14 is negative 42. Now write the second equation underneath this equation that we came up with and make sure they still lined up. Since I'm getting rid of the coefficients of y, I'm, got, I'm trying to get rid of y, and the coefficients has different signs, this 3 is negative and this 3 is positive, then what do you do? You add the equations. So now add the equations, see what happens. 9x plus 2x is 11x, and negative 3 plus 3 is 0, they cancel each other, equals negative 42 plus negative 2 is negative 44. Simplify that, you get 11x equal negative 44. Watch how you only have x to solve for. Divide both sides by 11, you get x equal negative 4. Now that I found x, what do I need to find y? So the fourth step is to choose a not one equation to solve for the other variable. And now I need to solve for y because I already know what x is. So write the equation, and I wrote 3x minus y equal negative 14. It doesn't matter which equation to choose, but this one is easier. Substitute x with negative 4 and write the equation. You end up with 3 in parentheses. Make sure it's in parentheses. Negative 4 minus y equal negative 14. Simplify that. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, and bring everything else down. Now I need to solve for y because there is only y in the equation. By adding 12 on both sides, you end up with negative y equals negative 2. But I don't want negative y, I want positive y. That means you have negative 1 y. So divide both uh, sides by negative 1. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 is 1. 1 times y is y equals negative divided by negative is positive, And 2 divided by 1 is 2. So y equals 2. Now the solution will be negative 4 for the x and 2 for the y. Now let's practice with word problem. One customer purchases 8 bags of cat food and 2 bags of dog food. The total weight of the purchase is 44 pounds. Another customer purchases 5 bags of cat food and 2 bags of dog food. The total weight of the purchase is 35 pounds. Write a system of equations to find the weight of each bag of food. First of all, look for your clues. What information did they give me? They gave me that I have two customers, the first customer and the second customer. They also gave me a total weight for the first customer of 44 pounds, and the total weight for the second customer is 35 pounds. What else did they give you? The number of bags. The first customer bought eight bags of cat food and two bags of dog food, and the second customer bought five bags of cat food and two bags of dog food. Now, what are my variables? 
you always look for in the uh, you always look in the problem what are you looking for what are you trying to find and i'm trying to find the weight of each bag of food so my variables are x represents the weight of bags of cat food and the y represents the weight of a bag of a dog food now let's write the equation one for the first customer and a second equation for the second customer and that makes it a system of linear equation two equations so the first customer has a total of 44 that came from the number of cats number of cat food bags times the weight plus the number of dog food bags times the weight now put the numbers that you already have the total of 44 came from eight bags times the weight of x and two bags times the weight of y which is the dog food now the second customer second customer total weight equals again the number of cat uh, food bags times the weight plus the number of dog food bags times the weight substitute the numbers so the total is 35 for the second customer equal 5x plus 2y now that's a system of linear equation let's solve it by elimination now let's find out the weight of each bag using elimination and the steps are there for you to follow so here's the two equations that we already wrote down step number one is to line up the equation and the variables is the y under the y the x under the x the equal sign under the equal sign so it is already lined up now step number two to find a variable that has the same coefficient and i do have the y has the same coefficient so i am going to get rid of that y to do that by adding or subtracting since the two in both equations have same sign they both positive then i will subtract the equations now subtract every term 44 minus 35 is 9 bring the equal sign down 8 minus 5 is 3x plus 2y minus 2y they cancel each other which is 0. simplify that you get 9 equal 3x so for x there's only x in the equation by dividing both sides by 3. So x equals 3. What does that x equal 3 means in the content of the problem? Since x represent the weight of one bag of cat food, then the weight of the cat food is 3 pounds. Now that we found the cat food, now we need to find the weight of the dog food bag. So choose one equation, and I am choosing the second one this time, 35 equal 5x plus. 2y. Since you found x equal 3, substitute that in the equation instead of x. So 35 equal 5 in parentheses the 3 plus 2y. Simplify the equation. You end up with 35 equals 5 times 3 15 plus 2y. Now watch how you only have y in the equation to solve for. So isolate y or solve for y. The first thing to do is to get rid of that 15 by subtracting 15 from both sides. 35 minus 15 is 20, and 15 minus 15 is 0. They cancel each other, plus 2y, so just bring the 2y down. Now, still y is not isolated. I need to get rid of the 2 since it's 2 times y. The inverse operation will be to divide by 2 both sides, so y equals 10. So what does that 10 mean? In the content of the problem, since y represents the weight of one bag of dog food, then the weight of the bag of dog food is 10 pounds, and that's what the y is. In conclusion for today's lesson, to solve for a variable, there should only be one kind of variable in the equation to solve for. And how do you do that? You achieve that by getting rid of one variable. And how do you do that? By adding or subtracting the equations after you line them up. You add the equation when coefficients have same signs, and here's an example for you to understand. If you have negative 3 and positive 3, they have different signs. How do I make them equal 0? You add them. Negative 3 plus 3 equals 0, and that's why you add when you have different signs. Now, you subtract the equations when coefficients have same sign. For example, you have negative 3 and negative 3. How do I make them equal 0? Okay. You subtract because they, 3 has the same sign, which both are negative. Uh, subtracting a negative is the same as adding, so negative 3 plus 3 equals 0. That's why 
you subtract when you have the same signs. Once you're done, you write the solution as an ordered pair with x and y because the value of x and the value of y should be solving both equations. That's it for today's lesson. Thank you for listening.